Welcome back. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, we've actually been travelling in our caravan, um, but I thought what I would do today is I've actually got a new present in the post. So uh, just here I've got a new controller. So you've probably seen I've done, um, you know, I've done reviews in the past on these controllers. Um, and if, well, not really reviews, but showing how they work and stuff like that. And you can click up in the corner up here uh, if you want to see those. But what I've got now, um, straight from Amazon or from China by the looks of it, uh, is a really simple rotary controller. And uh, people recommend these. Basically, it get, does away with all of the kind of screen issues that we have with these and all that kind of stuff uh, and these are apparently really easy to use so today I'll go through the features uh, and give a bit of an opinion of what I think about it so uh, I've double checked before I bought it and it looked like the uh, you know the plug was the right plug so I'll grab this out of the bag and we'll have a quick look at it so this one is our old controller and you can see it's a three pin plug with a triangle um, and I made sure before I bought this one that it was the same so it looks the same uh, the controller itself is literally two buttons and a dial so on off and a dial so let's plug this in and have a look at what how it works what it's got to offer So, plugs simply plug straight in, and as you can see, all that's happened is the on button is lit up, meaning that we can turn it on. Uh, I assume, oh no, you can actually turn it up and down before you've started it. So it takes a few clicks to turn up and down, but it works. Uh, what we might need to do though is I haven't primed the pump in a while so we'll prime the pump priming the pump just means that you use you trigger the pump without the heater being on so there's no glow plug there's no chance of it you know um, you know starting uh, and basically all it's used for is to get the fuel to the heater before you turn it on you can you don't lots of these uh, heaters don't have a prime function and you don't really need one what, what happens is the glow plug will glow. Um, you might need a couple of cycles to get the fuel to it, but it just basically makes it so that it's hot when the fuel gets there anyway. So it's not the end of the world if you don't have a prime function. Um, I guess you'll just have to be aware that if you've got a long run and it's not primed, it will probably take a few cycles to actually um, uh, you know, produce any heat because it hasn't got any fuel. Uh, so that's a tip. I know some of these older style ones now are no, not coming with uh, priming functions and I've had a few comments on the other videos. So yeah, just hit the on button a few times. You'll probably get an error 08 from those screen ones. Um, and I'm not sure how it show, errors show up on this one, but we'll see if we get one of those. But yeah, basically, if you get an o error 08, I think it means no fuel, and you just hit it again. And sometimes I think mine will take mate, possibly three times uh, to get it working. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Alrighty, so we might try and prime it. And priming it, you just hold this off button down for a few seconds, uh, and it should you should hear the pump clicking. Uh, nothing else in the heater will work, so you won't have any heat because uh, the heat is off, the glow plug's off, um, the fan should be off, everything should be off, it's just the pump that should click. So let's try that. So I can hear the pump clicking um, and it's moving the fuel towards the heater now. So uh, that's how you prime it, you just hold that down. Um, you probably do want to hop underneath the van or have a look at the um, line to see where the fuel is uh, and then you can hit the off again once you have the fuel at your heater. So I'm not sure if you can see that but that's the fuel moving through the line in the heater um, and we're probably already at the heater so I'll stop it now. 
Alrighty, now we've primed it and got the fuel all the way to the heater. All we have to do, I actually, I clicked off. Uh, you just click the same button to stop the prime. Um, and now it's all the way to the heater. We simply click on. And one thing I must say is these buttons are a lot more responsive than uh, the ones that you have on this controller. Um, I find these really hard to use. Uh, and this one just seems like it's very, very simple, but it works. Um, and this is probably gonna be a great solution for um, most people. I mean, lots of you that are watching this video have probably bought this one already. If you're watching it and trying to work out which controller you need, if you want a simple one that works, I would highly recommend this one. Um, there's lots of kind of advanced menus and all kinds of stuff on this. The only real benefit for these ones is that they have the remote control and the remote control is great if you can't reach your controller from in bed or something and you're somewhere chilly and you, you want to flick it on and off so uh, kind of that's the only reason i would head towards these ones rather than this one all right so now we've got it primed what i'm going to do is hit the on button and start it up uh, you can see that the fan speed kind of lights up as well I can actually feel the fan already just started up. So, yeah, we'll come back in a few minutes when it's warmed up. So we've actually got the pump clicking in the background and I did have the air conditioner on. We're in far north Queensland and it's 30 degrees. So really the last thing that we're thinking of is getting a heater running. But I thought having this, I may as well do a video. And especially as like Europe is now going into winter and these videos have a really good response. Um, I thought I might as well show this anyway. And All right, so we're a couple of minutes in. Um, heater is now putting hot air. Uh, so it takes the same amount of time to start up as the other ones really. Uh, now what I'll just check is the uh, controller. And it's kind of odd that you have to turn it a couple of clicks before it moves a light. Um, and I'm probably thinking there's not that much, um, you know, kind of control between the, the, the dashes, but I don't know for sure. Um, I'm just turning it down and I'll make sure that the fan kind of slows down. So it is getting warm in here. It's already warm. <laughs> it's already 30 degrees in here and we're heating it up. So. You can probably hear the fan and it's not slowing down yet. Usually when it first starts it has to get up to full speed and it does the goes through the heat um, and you would see that on the other heater you would see it warming up. On this one obviously there's no visuals for that so um, you're purely relying on feeling the heat coming out of the vent. I might come back when the fan slowing down. Alrighty, so the heater's got to its full temperature and now I can hear it slowing down. So um, this fan thing seems to work pretty well. I'll just turn it up and I should hear it speed up in a second. Yep, yeah, I can hear it slowly getting faster and it's actually very hot so yeah that's pr pretty much it for this it's a basic controller um, yeah I'd recommend it I'll leave the link down below for just the controller if you bought one of these and your screen is gone faint or anything like that and you're gonna looking for one of these I'll leave the Amazon link for this you can also buy them on eBay AliExpress I guess um, all very similar prices if you're looking for a new heater, um, you can still buy them with these. Probably great if you're not that tech savvy. If you want something very simple, neat, uh, you can turn this off and you'll have a single light here which is gonna draw no power. Uh, or you unplug it like you do the other heaters. So now I've shown you how to turn it on and off. Um, it's pretty easy. Um, I'm actually trying to get an error code to come up on here so I can show what that looks like. So what I've done is I've uh, removed the um, diesel pump 
or unplugged it. Uh, so hopefully now when I click on, which I've just done, we get an error. So we can see uh, flashing and four. So I think it sh that's how it shows it. Uh, yeah. You see on this side here, we've got four uh, bars of the fan. Uh, I think that's the equivalent to an error 04 like that you would see on uh, on one of these ones. So that's how your errors get shown up. So very simple again. Anyway, that's probably a wrap for this video. If you did like it, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more content uh, like this. Thanks a lot, everyone. Cheers.